Huge congratulations on the show. I've watched it all in pretty much in a day because I've got nothing else to do. Wow. <laughs> uh, as a football fan, it's like a good book. I couldn't put it down. So uh, congratulations on that. I just wondered for you guys, I mean, Brendan, I know you're obviously part of the, the kind of concept of the show anyway, but I just wondered what it was about why this character works because he's completely a fish out of water, but he has this amazing ability to really kind of suck people into his into his world. And he's such a kind of lovely guy that you almost forget that he's he's completely not up to the task. I just wondered what it was about, not just the character, but Jason and the story that kind of spoke to you both. Uh, maybe, Brendan, maybe I'll start with you and why you wanted to get involved in the in the first instance. Well, Jason and I have known each other uh, since we met in Chicago Improv Days uh, in a previous century. So um, the opportunity to work with him again was, you know, was a, a no-brainer, really. Um, but in terms of uh, why Ted works, uh, one of the main qualities that Jason has emphasized uh, with Ted is that he's curious and there's a distinction between being uh, dumb and thinking you know everything not that I know anyone like that in the world uh, and but being dumb and curious and and that curiosity I mean it opens you know it opens your mind it opens your heart and I think that's the quality that really makes Ted what he is yeah no I mean just to, yeah, to, to I mean almost echo exactly what Brendan says yeah there's something there's a, just a, a real charming quality to I guess the t in, in the times when he is done that there is yeah there's that intrinsic curiosity and that kind of search for wanting to sort of do better and to do good yeah I mean he's just such an optimistic character and um yeah it kind of makes you want there to be more Ted Lasso's in the world I guess um because he is just so so lovable yeah, absolutely. Nick, I really want to know what's in your box behind you now. Sorry, that's... <laughs> I can show you if you want. <laughs> it's not Gwyneth Paltrow's head. Um, it's literally but, uh... laundry. <laughs> is, this, is it like laundry, laundry, laundry tablets? This is uh, a washing the... machine. <laughs> uh, one of the great things I love about the show as well is that it, obviously it's a show about, as you said, about a, a guy being very optimistic and about optimism and also this great story about kind of family and camaraderie and, 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 and embracing the people around you. I just wondered how important that was for you that, you that you told a story like that that this wasn't just you know ted lasso doing his shtick you know doing his jokes and it was about a family of actors and an ensemble uh, piece maybe nick i'll start with you oh gosh um well i think that um i don't know i think i, th I, I it's it, i guess it's quite rare isn't it to have a show or to have a comedy where where your where your protagonist is 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 optimistic and upbeat and has a positive outlook on life i think sort of so often we kind of um, or, or at least sort of maybe in my experience of when I've like written stuff, you, you kind of often have a protagonist who is who is flawed in a way that maybe makes them a bit more kind of dislikable. Or I mean, you know, or he, not to say Ted Lasso doesn't have his flaws, but it's quite rare for there to be someone who you're kind of gunning for that much in in a comedy because you obviously you want that kind of tension for the kind of for the comedy to work. But um, but yeah, I think it's a really great balance in Ted Lasso, and um, I guess naturally because it's about football and a football team and everything that kind of comes with that. You're, you're always going to, uh, you're thematically, you're always going to want to look at things like camaraderie and, uh, and so on. And, um, and then I think there was like a real sense of that within the cast as well. You know, we filmed over three months, four months even. And, um, I remember we, it was from sort of summer to winter. So we kind of took in three seasons almost. And, uh, and yeah, it just, you know, there was an amazing bond between everyone and, um, a lot of that's actually just quite authentic and I guess it's quite rare to see in a, in a, in a comedy. Um, yeah, it was, it was an absolute joy to be part of, I must say. Brendan, I'm oh, sorry, how important was it for you as a writer, you guys, to kind of balance all of that, to have the funny stuff, but also to have these well-rounded characters and for it to be touching as well as funny? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that's to some degree, it is a natural reflection of, uh, of really who Jason is. Like he's, he is at heart an optimistic person and, um, you know, I think what, what Nick was saying, I think, really stands out. Like, there's just not that many shows that are that have an optimistic, you know, you know, not too snarky point of view. And that wasn't the goal. That's just kind of how it worked out to be. I should also say, some of those snarky shows are the best comedy shows of all time. I'm not anti-snark, it, but it's kind of nice to be uh, doing something that's done a little bit less. Scott, what what uh, what kit are you wearing there? What, what shirt is that? I can't make it out. It's top down. Scott, come on! We were all having a good time, and then you had to bring Tottenham into it. It was mainly for Jason to get his uh, to get his reaction. So we'll, I'll I'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> Tottenham, was, Tottenham was very good to us, I should say. I I I uh, I'm not allowed to say favorable things as an Arsenal fan, 
but uh, but they were very oh, good to us. And I'll, I'll never that, forget where's it. That, where's that X button to end the interview? Uh, guys, I wish I had more time. Pleasure. Thank you so much. Really enjoyed the show. Thanks uh, so thanks much. So much. Scott. Thank, thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys.